Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Dry Dry Desert. <laughs> Anybody get the Nintendo reference? Anybody? Mario Kart? Anybody? <laughs> I am at Santan Mountain Regional Park in the Phoenix area, and it's hot. <laughs> it is almost 8 o'clock in the morning. I'm, I've been hiking for five miles. I made a major Snapchick fail this morning. I was supposed to get up and get right out the door and come here to film a video for you about how I create landscape images. I was going to discuss, um, you know, kind of, kind of everything in the process of how I do it and some tips for you maybe if, if, uh, if you want them. So, however, uh, my alarm went off at four, as it does every day. Normally don't have any problem getting up that early this morning. Apparently, I just didn't get up. <laughs> Woke up at five and I was like, shoot! So I came out for a workout anyway. But uh, yeah, just too hot to do like uh, this like super meaningful video and make sure I hit all the points that I wanted to hit. So instead, we're doing a more casual video. And I'm gonna discuss with you the things that I bring on a trip like this. It is road trip June after all. I did have to road trip a little bit to get out here. Um, I live in the city, so luckily I, there's you know desert around, but I did have to drive a, a ways to get here. So let me discuss with you the things that I brought today. Okay, number one most obviously is the camera that I'm filming with. I don't always bring this with me on a workout, but I do love it. Um, I left it in my bag intentionally today thinking that I would uh, film something, you know, like this for you. Uh, it is the Remove UK one. I do have a review of it. You can find that up at the link up above. More often, I'm using my phone for taking photos, for, um, you know, making any little short videos that I want to make sometimes. Uh, I also use this for navigation. I have a couple of apps. Today I'm using the um, REI's hiking project app. I actually have a video about that up at the link up above. Um, you can check that out. But also, uh, you know, I just bring this for safety. So there's that. Similarly, for navigation and such, I bring my watch. This is a Garmin GPS watch. It's the Phoenix 5. I This is a big watch. It's big. It's kind of bulky. I You don't need this by any means, but I do like to um, track where, you know, how far I've gone. I'm right now using it to track my heart rate. I realize wrist heart rate is not like the most reliable thing ever. For my purposes right now, it's fine. I'm just trying to train myself to keep my heart rate within a certain zone. This is close enough for that. By the way, I've let myself get into the really bad habit of letting my heart rate get way too high on my workouts and that's just not serving what I want to do. So anyway, my watch, sunscreen. I always bring sunscreen with me. It's very sunny. This just lives in the hip pocket of my camelback. Speaking of my camelback, I bring my camelback. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see me. Hold on. Sorry. I bring this. It is the Octane 18X. It can be small-ish. It can be made bigger because you can unzip the back of it. I love it. I actually have, I may have a review of this bag. Um, I have two of them. I had, I have one that is much older and that I think is the one that I show you in the, uh, in the video. Anyway, I'll link that up above. Speaking of the Camelback, the wonderful thing about the Camelback is water. This holds three liters. I typically fill it up or at least almost fill it up because I want to curse here, but I'm not going to. It's hot in the desert. It's blank hot in the desert <laughs> right now. It's summertime. It's, you know, almost 8 a.m. And it's already real hot. I think it's supposed to be like 106 today. Um, not even the hottest that it's going to get this summer. But yeah, as you can see, lots of sun, not a lot of shade. So bring water. I also bring food. In fact, in this pocket, same hip pocket, I have a half-eaten bar. Um, little note on food, I like to bring plenty of food. I have this one, I have another couple in my backpack, but I like to bring ones that don't have 
like chocolate or other things that can melt because as I said it's hot here so everything melts and then it's just a messy gross like ordeal to eat it. I also bring my keys obviously I drove here um, <laughs> but it has a little Swiss Army knife on it. This Swiss Army knife has um, among other things tweezers and the tweezers along with you know the knife and whatever the screwdriver sometimes um, I can get cactus spines out of me <laughs> and anyone else that I come across I, I've used this far more often on dogs that you know I've come across people walking their dogs on trails and the dog invariably you know gets some spine in its in its foot you know so I use that one more thing that I use my phone for is actually listening to something when I'm not talking to you all um, I don't listen to music when I'm on a trail like this, and by this I mean busy. Um, this is a really busy trail. It's a multi-use trail. There are horses, there are mountain bikes, there are hikers, there are runners. And sometimes the mountain bikers get going pretty fast on the descents. So I need to keep my, my ears um, open, at least partially. So I'm using AirPods right now. I know they're a little dorky, but I really like them. So they allow me to, in combination with listening to a book instead of music, it allows me to hear what's going on around me um, so I can get out of the way when I need to. Safety first, right? So <laughs> other things, I not only keep my ears open for sounds like mountain bikers, but I keep my eyes open. I keep my eyes open for things like trail signs, like this is the way you're supposed to go so that I don't like wind up on the wrong trail. Uh, I, list, I look at things like signs that tell me where not to go. Like, hey, don't go here. We're rehabilitating this certain area. Um, I like to keep the desert or wherever I am as I found it. So those, and then also for safety, keeping my eyes and ears open for animals. Um, I'm in the desert right now. There are rattlesnakes in the desert. I have run across many a rattlesnake in the desert. I've run across Gila monsters, although not as often as like movies and history books and geography books would lead you to believe. Um, <laughs> but uh, all kinds of animals, coyotes, bobcats, lizards, I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to step on anything either. So there's those things. I mean, when I was in um, Yellowstone, Mm, what a year ago oh wow that was like a whole year ago when I was in Yellowstone and I ran into a bear didn't physically actually run into a bear but I was paying attention and watching as I was going around a curve and all of a sudden there was a bear that was way too close but you know if I would have been looking down if I would have been playing with my phone if I would have been you know talking to you guys without actually paying attention to what's going on around me I may not have stopped our group in time to not get eaten. <laughs> so there's a sign right there that says area closed. Let's go look. Let's go check it out. Ready? Hold on. I'll turn you around. See? Stay on designated trails. Good. We will do that. And, you know, I also have like my wallet and my parks passes. I buy annual passes to um, the national parks and here in the Phoenix area, we have a good county park system, and I buy an annual pass for that because not only does it, you know, I, I like to support the park system, but also it uh, it makes me get out here. It makes me get out here more often because it's like, oh, well, I bought that pass. I better use it. <laughs> so anyway, guys, I would like to come out here more often, speaking of which, and bring you out into the desert. I've been bringing you out into the forest a lot because, well, it's just plain cooler and it's easier for me to get out and make videos. But if you're interested in seeing more of uh, the Phoenix area, the deserts and such, let me know if there's some place in particular that you would like me to, to take you to on a, a road trip, a field trip, an adventure, a hike, anything. Let me know down in the comments below. We have a lot going on here. And yeah, that's it. That's it, everybody. I need to pay attention. My heart rate's way over where it's supposed to be. <laughs> I'm not paying attention to that. 
I'm paying attention to uh, not stepping on any snakes, which I haven't seen any today, which is nice. Typically, you don't really see them as much during the like sunny daytime during the summer. But anyway, that's beside the point. I am kind of curious, you know, what kind of, let me know what kind of gear, like what are your non-negotiables? What do you bring when you're out doing a workout? Do you ever go out and work out or do you, do you always focus on photography? What are your non-negotiables when you go out? Um, you know, for me, it's obviously the things that I've talked about today with the exception of the gimbal. I don't always have the gimbal with me. Everything else is pretty much a non-negotiable for me. But although, you know, occasionally in the past I've let my watch die or something. Um, yeah, let me know. So let me know if there's anywhere in the Phoenix area you would like me to take you. And what kind of gear you like to bring when you're out and about. That's it, everybody. You know, one more thing I'm curious about while I'm at it. What critters do you have to be careful with where you are when you're out? So, you know, every place has different kinds of critters. Like I said, here it's like snakes, especially rattlesnakes, um, maybe Gila monsters, uh, coyotes and bobcats and stuff. I know I've, I've heard of people getting um, hurt by them, but I've never run across any that even remotely seemed threatening to me. So I don't know. I think that's, those are definitely fewer and farther between. Snakes are kind of the big thing. So let me know for you, what are the critters you have to watch out for when you're out and about? And that's it, everybody. <laughs> that's it from Santan Mountain Regional Park. I'm hot and I'm out of breath and I still have probably three or four miles to go. <laughs> I got to get through this workout, guys. Talk to you later. Oh, and I'll be back soon with that video on um, the how I do landscape images. Oh, and I'll also be back soon with the San Diego book because that is almost done. That'll be coming soon next week. Talk to you later.